There we go. Wonderful. All right. Thank you. That's not weird it at was all. A, it was a, in a different, it was in a different thingy. All right. Everybody see my screen? Yep. Uh, it's all right. Oh, there it goes. All right. So we're going to have to jump screen. So I have, a, I have this one pulled up and then I'll go, I'll jump to Brandy's macro screen. The stuff I got to do is uh, super easy. So this, uh, so this, we're, um, things we're talking about, I'm going to start talking about the uh, challenges. Then we'll talk about some well, wellness signal stuff and then we'll go into Brandy's uh, macro, macro stuff. Okay. All right. All right. So the challenges. All right. So uh, last 90, 90 all in, we had the walking, uh, you know, scavenger hunt types of challenges uh it, it was cool it was cool but you know we had some vandalism going on and and some other people couldn't make it uh because they you know they just couldn't make the trails so this this year we made it uh we're making it easier uh we're gonna start off starting this week so monday next week okay. i guess uh we're having walking challenges uh so the way it's going to work is we're gonna start you guys off at 1.5 miles then every week we're going to increase your mileage until the end of the 90 all in challenge. So by the end of the 90 all in, all in challenge, we're walking pretty far. Uh, the the reason why we're doing this is because uh, a lot of you guys already go to the gym more, like three or more times a week. Uh, and adding more to that isn't necessarily going to help you, but uh, because it's adding a lot of stress, right? So I don't want you guys going like three or four times to, to the gym, but walking is incredibly powerful. So we're gonna we're gonna incorporate the walking challenges. Every time you walk, record it on your phone or record it on your Apple Watch or whatever, any kind of device you have. You know, I don't know what Samsung has. I'm sure they have a walking app. Uh, record it, take a picture, and you got to put it on Facebook so we can track it. Okay, that's the goal. That's that's the that's the challenge. Now, some of you guys are not doing a weight loss challenge. So the walking challenge is pretty much just for our weight loss people. But we have other individuals that are, they have a strength goal in their, as part of their challenge. So now we're going to do some, uh, we're gonna put up some simple uh, strength building um, metrics, all right? And then you're gonna start at a certain point and you're gonna do an incremental increase every week. And just like the challenges, you're gonna post your lifts on to the 90 all in Facebook. That way we can see it, encourage you, and keep track. Does that make sense? Sounds good. All right. Now, when you accomplish your walks, you will be getting a sticker. You have to either, if you aren't uh, able to come to the gym to get your sticker, we can mail it to you. But most everybody here is uh, comes to the gym at some point or the other. So uh, see Brandy or I and get your challenge sticker okay these stickers are pretty cool we'll let you pick we have a variety of them so you can pick any one you want from the uh, stickers and you can put them on your water like i usually put all my stickers on my drinking device so make sure you put yours uh somewhere cool like on your drinking flask okay does that make sense any questions on the challenges um is it 1.5 miles a week or every day 1.5 miles a week Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're not gonna make it super cumbersome, but we're gonna make you guys walk, and mm -hmm. it's, it, it you'll be the mileage is gonna add up. So you guys be ready, um, and then we're gonna do our best to keep track of. Uh, so the only way to keep track of your points is for you guys to claim your stickers, and at the the person at the end of the challenge with the most stickers is going to get a plaque that I have. Oh. All the parts I have all the parts of the plaque. I just have to put them together to make one solid plaque. Dope, right? Sounds good. Yes. Yes. All right. Cool. Cool. Super symbolic. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's the challenge. Those are the rules for the challenge. Now we're going to move on to your battle, buddy. I will give somebody a extra sticker point if they can tell me what movie this is from. Uh, Predator. Predator Jose gets a sticker at first point right there. My man. Already. Yeah. Battle buddies. All right. So the battle buddy system. So you guys, most of you guys have turned in your worksheets. Your worksheets just weren't worksheets. They were also going to be part of our plan to group you guys together. Like our, we have people that want to uh, lift more or have a, a physical challenge. And we have some people that, you know, have a weight loss challenge. We're going to give you, we're going to battle you guys up in the battle buddy systems. All right. Maybe a battle buddy triplet. All right, depending on like the numbers and how they work out, because not everybody has turned in their worksheets yet. We're still waiting on a few worksheets, uh, right. but I'm going to roll with what we got. Uh, you guys had plenty of times to fill them out, so I'm going to roll with what we got. And I'm going to group you guys into battle buddies. The goal of the battle buddy system is to keep help keep you guys accountable. 
Okay, that's for food. That's for going to the gym. That's for inputting your uh, your future workouts into Zen Planner, meaning go to the Zen Planner and picking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever days you're going to be at the gym. Put them in the Zen Planner, Planner so your buddy can keep you help keep you accountable along with me and Brandy. Does that make sense on the Battle Buddy system? Sounds good. All right, along with the yes. Battle Buddy system. Let's try to do, to also walk with your battle buddy and lift with your battle buddy because if you're a if you're a strength uh, one of our strength athletes that wants to get stronger, we're gonna link you're gonna partner you up with the strength battle buddy. Cool. Sounds good. All right. And now I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to move to Brandy's thing. This is going to take a second because I don't know. It's not preloaded. All right. So since it's the two of you guys, I can actually walk. If one of you guys don't mind sharing me, sharing with me like some numbers, I can explain how to calculate your macros. And I was kind of going over this with Anna today. The whole point of me wanting to teach you guys how to calculate your macros is because when you make body changes, your numbers will make a change. And a lot of trainers just be like, oh, you need 170 grams of protein. Yeah, they don't true. explain why you need 170 grams of protein. And when your body changes, you're going to be able to calculate that. So this is actually an expensive tool that I'm going to be giving to you guys for free on how to calculate it. So um, the best way to, to go about this is just kind of explain, going back to um, the, the macronutrients, which is protein, carbs, and fats. The first thing that you need to figure out, so if you guys want to get a pen and paper out, kind of jot some notes down, I can also calculate this for you guys sure, but... specifically. Okay. I got a pen. Grabbing papers. Sweet. Get my little calculator out. Is this right here? Uh, yeah. Keep scrolling though. There we go. Cool. That might be what I'm looking at. Get my calculator out. So. Did you put a circuit in there? All right. Tell Jeremy to be quiet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just playing with you. All right. So you know what? Let's just do this. Um. Jose, I'm going to calculate your macros, okay? Or at least just okay. a ballpark calculation for your macros. So have you done any sort of uh, uh, calculations on, like, MyFitnessPal or whatever app you're using? Does it say how many calories you need? Uh, I have used MyFitnessPal in the past, but I uninstalled it at the start of this challenge because uh, I got on the Nutra app. But My I man. It'll show me. Nice. And how many calories does it say you need a day based off of your exercise height and weight? Uh, let me pull it up. Yeah, no pressure. Just, you know, firing it at you for no reason. I'm just going to help be able to explain where these numbers come from. Mm -hmm. For people, um, I calculated mine again today, um, and I can use those numbers as reference. And also, um, and I might do that here in just a second. All right. Um, I'm not sure where it says, but I'm going to assume, like, I just put my, uh, my Nutra app over to tomorrow. And it says I have 3,880 calories left. So I'm assuming that's how many I need for a day. 3,080? Okay. Uh -huh. That's nice. Good for you. That's nice or number. 3,880. Wow. Wow. That's a nice number. Okay. So you take your total calories. So this is basically to anyone that's listening, you take your total calories. Um, Jose's, um, I might not use Jose's. I might just use a rounder <laughs> number. That's easier. So let's just say your total calories, this is going to be backwards for you guys. Let's just say it's 2,500 calories based off of your height, your weight, and the number of exercise days or exercises you have in a week. So 2,500. That's give or take roughly, roughly what mine is. <laughs> We're just going to go with my numbers. Okay. So from this number, you need to decide what your body needs. Are you a 40% carbs? 30 protein, 30 fats, which is the normal number that is pumped out by trainers and health professionals around the world? Or are you looking for a higher protein? So 40% protein, 30 carbs, 30 fats. That is important to know because you can't calculate your macros without knowing what percent you use. So I use a 40, 30, 30, 40% 40 carbs, 30% protein, and 30% fat. So take your whole number, which is minus 
2,500 calories, and you would use a calculator to calculate 40% of that, okay? And that's, for me, is my carbs. I realize that for you guys, this is probably probably backwards. No, is that forwards or backwards? Can you guys read that? That's forwards. Cool, cool. So what you would do, you would take your 2,500 times your 40%, and that is the number of calories that you need. So for example, I'm going to jump on my calculator. So 2,500 times 0 0.40, that would be a thousand calories. I mean, a, th a thousand grams of, boop, boop, so a thousand, okay? Then you would take that same thing, you take 2,500 times 0.3. So for me, mine would be 2,500 times 0.3. That's 750. So my 30% for my protein is going to be 750. Okay. Oh well, 30% is the same for uh, carbs and fat. I mean, sorry, for protein and fat. So then I would do 30% for fats, which is 750. Okay. That's how many um, calories, calories of those things that you need. Now, last week, or maybe it was two weeks ago, I talked about the numbers of uh, how you break down your fats and your carbs and your protein, which is percent grams. So Eric, do you mind sliding through it where it says fats are nine, carbs are, scroll through it really fast for me. Boop, boop, scroll, scroll, scroll. Don't worry about that one, keep going, keep going. So right there, it says uh, back, carbs are four calories per gram. And that's what this is. And then um, protein is nine, carbs and fats are four. So then what you would do is you would take your 1,000, I would take my 1,000 and divide it by four, okay? What it, whatever that number is, or oh, 250, I can math. Okay, that is 250, so that means I need 250 grams, grams of carbs a day. So mine would be 250, okay? This is where you got to pay attention. My protein is 750 right here, but I need to divide that one by four. So I take 750 divided by four. I don't know what that math is. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to math it actually. I'm going to be nice and math it. So you guys can all go through this at home. So 750 divided by four. I need, that's a lot. That's 187 grams of protein a day. 187 grams of protein a day. And again, these are just, you can play with these numbers. So mine would be 187.5 grams. But this is where these two differentiate from each other. You do not have the same number of fats because fats, you would divide by nine. So I take, oh. I take my 750 and divide by nine, and I need 83 grams of fat per day. Divide by nine. So my number comes to 83.3. So all together... I am getting my 2,500 calories based off of 40% uh, carbs, 30% protein, and 30% fats, which comes to 250 grams of carbs, 187 grams of protein, and 83 grams of fat. So all these numbers need to be manipulated specifically for you. Again, it comes down to height, weight, gender, how often you're working out, and your intensity of your workout. You can say you work out eight times. You can't work out eight times a week. I guess you could. But if they're incredibly low impact and not incredibly aggressive cardiovascularly, those are still considered light workouts. So if you have heavy workouts like the ones we have here, those are going to burn a lot more calories. Okay? So... Then once you figure out how many workouts you do a week, workouts, not just days, workouts, you use the 40, 30, 30. You decide if you want to make that proteins, carbs, or fats. You need to decide that based off your body needs. Eric is an awesome human being where he just thrives off of high protein, high fat. I do not. I like my carbs. I thrive off of carbs. Um, so my carb intake is going to be higher. So you have to play with these numbers. Also, uh, talking with Anna earlier, uh, just throwing out arbitrary numbers, one trainer said she needed X number, but, but then she lost weight, which is great. But, but then do you manipulate that? Yes. The answer is yes. You do manipulate your numbers based off, off of what your body needs now. Okay. Um, so that is a way to calculate. And if that was super confusing, 
I can break it down for everyone um, when they set up a meeting with me. And then we can I can show you how to calculate as you move forward. But that's the best and easiest and simple way to calculate truly your macros. So when you jump on the fitness tracker or my fitness pal and it says, oh, you need 170 grams of protein. Where is that number coming from? It's coming from what you decided was your percent factor. You know, are you doing 30% carbs and 40% protein? Are you doing 20% fat? That's where those numbers are coming from. And then you take that percentage, divide by nine, divide by four or divide by four. And that is where your body is getting your macro needs from. Okay. So um, all that's to say is when you read the side of packages, um, or you are trying to get your intake of the day of whatever macronutrients you need, you got to be careful um, on labels because some things will say low carb, but that may mean it's high in fat. That doesn't mean it's healthier for you. Just it meets that macro need for what your body needs. So just be careful when you read labels um, like fat-free ranch. Fat-free ranch has a bunch more carbs. They got to add flavor somewhere so people buy it from Walmart. So they add carbs to it. Things that are sugar-free tend to have higher fats. Things that are um, keto-friendly have higher fats, lower carbs, and all the other inverses of that. So just be careful when you move forward based off of your specific goals. Um, with the people on this chat, is there a, a question that I can answer about how to calculate? Um, so we, you say we just choose... Like 40, 30, 30, uh, either we want it to be carbs, proteins, or fats to be the, which one? Um, I sort of said that. It's based off of what you specifically want. The okay. average is 40% carbs, 30% protein, 30% oh, okay. fat. That's the, that's the national kind of average that um, you sign up for a trainer and they just spit it at you. Um, but it's based off of your needs. If you like a higher protein diet, you might make it, you know, 35, 35 whatever the other number is. Oh, that'd be 35, 35, 30. So I've played with all of those numbers and manipulated it round and about. And I, I operate well on the 40, 30, 30, but I have gone as far as 50% protein and, and I've done 25, 25. Um, that was a little too much protein for me. Um, I was uncomfortable. So you need to decide and this is why it is important to not just arbitrarily just select whatever someone gives you. I want you guys to understand where these numbers are coming from and why you get them. So if your, if your diet that someone gives you isn't working, it may not mean that the, the diet itself isn't working. It just may mean the, the, the macro breakdown might not be working. Because if you like the food and you like the way it tastes, great, use it, but manipulate the numbers where it fits your needs. So 40, 30, 30 is just an average. Okay. All right. So for Jose, um, you, what, how are you going to use brandy stuff is, uh, remember, I'm, the, the stuff I gave you to eat is, is are the foods to eat. But you're still eating carbs in that food because you're eating sweet potatoes and you're eating potatoes and there's like rice and stuff you can eat, right, Jose? Right. 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 So you're going to take what Brandy gives you and the things that you are allowed to eat in the, in the stuff I gave you, you're going to use that to make up your new macronutrients. And you by using Brandy's formula, it's kind of going to it's going to like really take your your eating plan to the next level. OK, because it is important to eat the carbs because uh, I want you to eat carbs. And I just want you to eat a certain type of carb. Does that make sense? That, yeah, I got yeah. you. OK. All right. So, Any, oh, uh, I have a question for you, Brandy. Yes, sir. All right. How do you want them to get a hold of you? Text message, email, what? And what days are what days are you generally open, more open than other days? So, in the ninety all in email, I will send um, my schedule out so you guys can look at it, and then um, I will make some time slots. Like I'll basically make like a Google spreadsheet of time slots that are available. These chats should really be like 10, 15 minutes tops. Um, I just want to do your calculation, break it down for you, answer your questions. And then they can be quick text chats later about like, Hey, this didn't work. All right, let's manipulate this number. Hey, this didn't work. But I don't want you guys to think that I'm going to schedule you guys for an hour long visit. That's <laughs> Too much time. It's like 10, 15 minutes tops. Come in with your questions ready. So um, tomorrow we'll send out an email 
with my available schedule and then I will schedule with you guys and it can be a Zoom chat or you can come into the gym early. Yes, Eric. All right. Do you want uh, just voice communication, FaceTime or Facebook Messenger, whatever? It will either be FaceTime um, kind of setting or you come into the gym when I'm here. So come in early, stay in late kind of thing. I will have availability on certain times. Like Monday morning, I have an hour and a half break. I could pump out like literally five phone calls Monday mornings um, or come into the gym and talk about it. So um, that will be up for your guys' flexibility if you are able to come in and see me, but your 15 minutes will be your 15 minutes. I can call you, FaceTime you, or meet in person. All right, sounds good. I, I don't have any questions. Anybody else have any questions? No. Dope. Okay. All right, guys, just a quick recap with the point system. If you don't get your stickers and put them on something, it don't count. All right, so figure out your <laughs> sticker thing, put them on a flask or whatever you got, keep track of them, earn those points, get that plaque. It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. All right, guys, that's all I got. Brandy, is that all you got? That's all I got because awesome. I want the one-on-ones to be important. The one-on-ones will be important, I think. All right. Oh, yeah. Talk to you guys later. All right. All right, out of here. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye. How do I...